Hi! In this video, we will learn a new notation called sigma notation, which will be very useful when we introduce um, integration. Well, um, this is when you have a sequence of numbers. So let a1, a2, and so on be a sequence sequence of uh, numbers, real numbers. And uh, well, uh, we want to have uh, some like a um, m plus a m plus one and then up to a some n. Well, this summation we can use the sigma notation, sigma notation, uh, to write that sum, to rewrite the sum. So this is what we have, a m plus a m plus one up to a n. So this, instead of writing add, 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 we do write this notation. This is sigma. And we say that, uh, well, a i, i goes from m up to n. So here, what we have is that formula, this guy is formula for ith uh, element of the sequence, it will be in terms of i of the sequence. Well, uh, this notation, as I said, this guy is called sigma. This is playing the role of addition. This guy says add these guys, okay? This i here is a dummy variable. It's called a summing variable or summing index. And what is this one? This is the starting i starts from the index m and the sum, the index the variable i, i goes up to n. Means that, well, instead of doing these, these kind of notations, which are very cumbersome, and usually it's difficult uh, when you have complicated cases, uh, you have very simple and nice notation, sigma notation. There, uh, there are a few remarks, but the most important one is that when you have a sigma notation, the summing variable um, which goes from m to n, well, runs one by one, increases one by one. The steps it takes uh, are just one. So it goes one, m, m plus one, m plus two, and so on. And when you have a i is a formula in i. And in general, in general, Basically, this is a function of that number i. So it's basically, you have a formula which has some i in it, and then that is the i-th um, um, entry of uh, that uh, sequence. Let's see some examples, maybe before we go to other properties. Let's just see some example for example you see we here we have three to the power two plus four to the power two plus five to the power two 
and 20 to the power to you see okay well, something is fixed first of all the numbers we are considering here are all square of something well three four five up to 20 they go up one by one so that means that we can take actually i square as our i entry of or element of the sequence and what is this this says that add i squared from i starting from 3 going up to 20 that is the sigma notation of that sum you see instead of writing this whole thing here i have just one piece here which says like that how about this one okay so here first of all ai's uh the elements our quotient so we have a numerator we have a denominator in the numerator you see it says one two three up to 100 so this will be let's say i in the numerator in the denominator their denominators are one bigger than the numerator so this will be i plus one and while we are adding i over i plus ones where does that start see the smallest number here i is one and it runs up to you see the numerator is i it runs up to 100 so that is sigma notation of that sum in the third example what you have okay so this is nice a i is square root of a something let's see what are these this is 7 9 11 55 as you can see the pattern is just odd numbers yes and the first number you hear see here is seven first of all all numbers are well even numbers are two times a number odd numbers are well either plus one or negative one after even number the odd number comes so here we are having square root of odd numbers you see now the important thing here is that this is so if you put i equal to um, three then two times three plus one is equal to seven and here when you get here you need to put i equal to uh 20 what 27 2 times 27 is 54 then plus 1 this is 55 this means what this means that i here the way we wrote this one i runs from 3 up to 27 so what we have here is uh square root of 2i plus 1 I runs from uh, 3 to 27 and let's do this last one a i here for so there's a number multiplied then there is a sign sign over 20 and in the numerator we have 5 6 7 8 up to 13 so let's just put this one i yes but what about the outside the the first the coefficient is four then twice of that twice of that and it goes up to 2048 this is 2 to the power 10 this is 2 to the power 4 this is 2 to the power 3 and this is 2 to the power 2 what is this number you see when i is 5 this guy is 2 to the power 2 when i is 6 this guy is 2 to the power 3 when i is 7 this is 2 to the power 7 and when i is 13 this is 2 to the power 10 as you notice 
all this number and this number, the difference is 3 in all these cases. See? So what does that mean? It means that we have 2 to the power 3 less than what we have as i here. So 2 to the power i minus so this is ai, and as you see, i starts from 5 up to 13. So the sum is going to be, let me write it like here. This is sum, sigma notation. i goes from where? From 5 up to where? 13, 2 to the power i minus 3, sine of i over 20. So this is the notation you have to be able to work with you have to be able to understand it and you have to be able to turn the summations in uh, these uh, sigma notations